we hear from? Your past is a gift. Okay, as promised, I was going to try and make more videos more often and just to keep you, you know, those ideas rolling, keep those ideas moving, you know, the thoughts, keep challenging you on the things that you believe, on your thoughts, you know, up to this point. There are certain things that we think are true and it's not until you start to question it you really start to look at where did that come from you know that it might change for you you may no longer believe that it may no longer be true for you anyway since the last set of videos and I was kind of on the path of making a whole series of videos for bullies and for bullying on the weekend we stumbled upon this documentary that everyone's watching and everyone's talking about um, leaving Neverland and it's a four-hour documentary if you haven't watched it I'd say watch it <laughs> um, form your own ideas you know of whether you you know what you think about it anyway so um, you know my husband and I since the Sunday and now it's almost the end of the week uh, we've had so many discussions about this documentary about this video that we watched and the first thing I thought of once I finished watching it was this amazing book that I read and you can see it's been read <laughs> many many times we've had this book for about 20 years now and it's called The Gift of Fear by Gavin De Becker and this book is life-changing like what you thought of before you know just throw that out the window once you've read this book uh, funny enough I picked it up you know my husband said oh you should read this book and I picked it up thinking it was one of those books that you know they teach you if you have a fear of something how to overcome that and get past it and be able to still move on with your life despite that fear you know how to face it and move forward and it has absolutely nothing to do with that <laughs> um, so once again for those of you who haven't read it it's called the gift of fear I'll put it in the details below as well in case and it's by Gavin De Becker hopefully that's clear enough there now of course when I watched this documentary on Sunday that was the first thing my mind went straight to that to that book and what I've read and I've read it a few times now so um, in that book he describes okay that people that are violent okay as adults these adults that grow up and are violent and serial killers and all these sorts of you know wonderful people that come into the world to create all this havoc um, these people 99.99 percent of the time and according to him it's a hundred percent he hasn't come across one case where it's not are already a victim of violence you don't just wake up one morning and decide oh you know I'm so bored I'm gonna start being violent today you know I'm gonna find people and abuse them or take a life just because I got nothing better to do with my time you know I'm just so bored out of my mind I've got to do something to get some excitement you don't just wake up and have these thoughts okay and I I was always suspicious of that because there's so many movies where you know these serial killers or these violent people just come out of nowhere they make out that they come from these good wholesome families and they just for no reason phew, go into the world you know to do all these horrible things to other people you know so when I read this book I, to me it resonated completely because I thought that it has to be that way you know a lot of things that you see in adults that you think oh that's horrible you know and you see them as the monster you know as you might get to the end of leaving Neverland and decide you know that Michael Jackson was a monster but if you've been following any of the videos <laughs> that I've created over the past two years I am a strong advocate that these monsters have been created by previous monsters and these are generations of monsters that have been passed down if you want to give it a label you know that they're not it's not humane what they've done or it's cruel what they've done or it's not right whatever label you want to put on it or whatever judgment okay that we should not be doing this to our children 
We should not be taking away their innocence in their childhood. Everyone has that right to have a beautiful childhood and to keep that innocence intact. But then afterwards, there was an interview with Oprah and she is saying that there is a one in six, there's one in six boys, not girls. We don't even want to know the number for girls. One in six boys are sexually abused in their childhood. One in six, that's a huge number, huge. You know, and people are talking about not playing his music anymore, Michael Jackson's music. They're banning it from a lot of the stations. And in my heart, you know, it doesn't take away what's being done. It's not going to take away what's being done. And it's also not addressing the issue that it's one in six boys. That there is a disease in our society that we have this need to be doing this to our children. We need to address that. And banning his music and never listening to Michael Jackson's music again is not the answer to that. That's not going to resolve. It's not going to heal this issue that we have. So in the next video, I want to go more into it, more about my feelings about it, what I think, my views. Because like I said, I always see things so differently. I see things that other people don't even notice. So because they get caught up in you know people get too caught up in the information they've been given and they're not really looking at all the angles all right my darling i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'd love to hear your thoughts you know if you've seen the, the documentary leaving neverland what are your thoughts what do you think what are your feelings once you've got to the end of those four hours about you know, these adults that molest children. Because it's very easy to say, to have a negative opinion, you know, and to have a judgment that they're bad people, but that's not healing the problem. It's not solving the problem that we have in the world when it's one in six boys. And God knows what that number is for girls. I don't even want to know. It can't be any much bigger than that, like, you know. All right, my darling, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.